All right, um, continuing gas distribution pipeline integrity management enforcement guidance, Title 49 CFR Part 192, Subpart P. Distribution integrity management, um, Part 192, um, the revision date date is December 7, 2015, Code 192-1015-B1. Uh, Section title 192-105-1015-192-1015. Uh, what mu must a master of meter and small liquid petroleum gas operator do to implement the subpart existing code language? Be the elements written integrity management program, but must address at a minimum of the following elements. One, the knowledge the operator must demonstrate the knowledge of the pipeline, which to the extent should include the approximate location material of the pipeline. The operator must identify the additional information needed to provide with the plan for the gain knowledge over time through the normal activities conducted on the pipeline, for example, design, construction, operation, maintenance, and activities. The origin of the code is 192.113.74.63906, December 4, 2009. Um, last amendment not foreseeable. Interpretation summaries not foreseeable. Advisory bullets and alert notice summaries not foreseeable. Other material and sources addressed in the Distribution Integrity Management pro Program Final Rule Preamble the Federal Register, Volume 74, Number 232, Friday, December 4, 2009. Rules and Regulations, Comment Topics. 20 knowledge of the pipeline environmental factors made um, page 63919 distribution integrity management frequently asked questions c4a1 the rule requires the operator to know in system most of the operator excavate simply and gather information about the parts of the system where it may not know have this um, complete knowledge Six a four. 64A2, there are some characteristics about the operator system that may be not to acknowledge during the development of the implementation pro management program. The PHMSA expectation for the filing of those void C4A3 qualified subject matter expert when the details were required to collect the new gas pipelines going into the ground. C4A5, when compromise, what compromises reasonable available information. 64A6, when operated plans to provide plans include to use the demonstrated and understanding of the gas distribution system. The Gas Pipeline Technology Committee guided with the material appendix of the G192.8 in Section 3, Knowledge, uh, good Guidance Information. 1. The master meter and the small liquid petroleum gas operators are treated differently in the distribution integrity management program rather than um, rule than large or operators. From 192.101, the integrity management plan or the integration management plan. Um, Means of written explanation of the mechanism procedure for the operator will use to implement the integrity management program and to ensure the compliance with the subpart the, for the most master meters and small lip good petroleum gas operators. Integrity management program must include the appropriate set of the mechanism procedures developed and implemented in each of the program element. The applicability of the word mechanism for the operators is important for the cinnamon mechanism process. The operator may employ a written explanation of the process employed mechanism developed and implemented with required element that less specific than written procedure. The integrated management program for the pipeline should reflect the relatively simplicity of these types of the pipelines. The distribution integrity management plan should be concise but still most sufficient for the operator personnel to understand implementation with the program with the co on a consistent basis. Two, the operator may use a written explanation, explanation, explanation of the process employed with the development implemented with the required element that is less specific for the written procedure. Three, an operator must knowledge of the gas distribution system included but not limited to the following location, material, composition, composition, pipeline site, piping size, joint method, construction method, date of the installation, soil conditions, where appropriate operating design, pressure, history, operation, operating experience, performance data, and experience condition of the system, and any other characteristics noted by the operator as important understanding of the items in this information must be obtained from sources including system maps and construction records work program, work management systems, geographical information, corrosion of the records, if the personal have a knowledge of the subject of the system subject matter expert, experts. For the operator must have documented the mechanism procedure adequately addressed gathering information demonstrated knowledge of this pipeline, which is extent now which should include the approximate location material of the pipeline. Five, the operator must identify the additional information needed to provide with the plan with gaining knowledge over the time through the normal activities conducted on the pipeline, for example, design, construction, operation, and maintenance activities. The distribution integrity management program must list the names of the operator's specific information sources for the non-generic terms of the operating management document documents. 
Um, some historical data may be no longer applicable for the current condition of the pipeline system. The pipe was replaced. The data of the previous pipe may no longer be relevant. Such data must be relevant where the circumstances of the construction practice, coating, backfilling, materials, piping, materials, environmental conditions of the pipe prior to replacement exist elsewhere of the relevant existing risk of the operator system. For example, if bare steel pipe has been replaced but some of the bare still exists with the system, the data concerned with the replaced pipe be, may be still relevant. Oper eight operators who transportate gas other than national natural gas needed to state in their di distribution integrity management program how the characteristics of the gas impact the threat and risk, including with the difference na from natural gas. Nine for the data identified by the operator the need for the threat identification and risk evaluation. There m must be a process identified by the facilities for the records are missing in or inaccurate, incomplete. Verifying the operator has checked the data for accuracy and completeness. Ten the conditional additional inf data improving existing data is not o only only required to occur as a part of the normal pipeline activities over the time. This there must be a method of people performing normal pipeline activities to know whether the what additional data is needed. Examples of probable viol violation or inadequate procedures. The operation does not have a mechanism procedure that covers the task being performed. The operator fails to follow the written mechanism or procedures operated. Three, the operator did not demonstrate that they have looked at all available sources or resources records um finding information with the past design operation maintenance such as coding material. Four operators do not specifically list with the documentation where you use to assemble the knowledge of the system. Operators does not gather or use responsible available data on the entire pipeline that could be relevant to the performing the threat assessment risk evaluation as needed for the group of facilities. Six, there is no mechanism procedure to identify the need for the missing, accurate, and incomplete data. The operator has not identified the missing, inaccurate, and incomplete data. Operators do not collect the data specified in mechanism procedures. Um, also, and Italics is, uh, depending on the circumstances, some of the examples listed in this section may be inadequate plans or procedures not a probable violations. Thus, enforcement tools and address these issues would be notice of amendment, notice of probable violation, or warning letter. Section 3, the enforcement, process, enforcement procedure provide guidance for selecting appropriate enforcement action. Examples of evidence. Um, Copies of the applicable page of the distribution and integrity management program show that the operator has not clearly stated the documentated but the youth develop knowledge of the system. The last of the documented youth develop a knowledge of the system is inadequate in identifying design and operating environmental characteristics of the pipeline system. Two of the copies of applicable pages of the distribution and integrity management program shows that the distribution and integrity management program is not detailed enough for the inspector to make a reasonable determination as to the accuracy thorough of the pro thoroughness of the process. App um, examples of evidence copy the applicable page of the Operator Distribution Integrity Management Program showing the required regulation provision are not documented with the or that the records or other documentation is sufficient to provide proof compliance with the intended regulation or pro provisions. Copy the applicable page of the Operator Distribution Integrity Management Program show the required data collection and utilization of the data not in Distribution te Integrity Management Program documented photograph evidence demonstrating the violations. Do documented oral written statements for operator personnel. The other special notifications are are blank. Um, continuing on, distribution integrity management part 192, December 7, 2015, 119, 115, B2. Also, the section title 192, 10, 115, what minutes a master meter small liquid petroleum gas operator do to implement this subpart? Existing code, language, elements of written integrity management. Plan must be addressed in a minimum following elements. Two, the identifying threats operator must consider a minimum following categories existing in potential corrosion, natural force, excavation damage, other outside force dam damage, material and welded failure, equipment failure, and incorrect operation. Origin of Code 192, 113, 74, 63906, uh, Federal Registry, December 4, 2009, end of last amendment, and in, in interpretation summaries not so far advisable or visible. Advisory Bulletin Alert Notice Advisory Bulletin 1304 issued on August 22, 2013. The Pi Pipeline Hazards Material Safety Administration advises to alert all pipeline operators at the TD Wilson and Corporation Leak Repair Clamp, or LRC, recall issued by the, t um, the TDW on J June 17, 2013. The recall covers the TD, the, the, uh, the TD Wilson Incorporated leak repair clamp for any pressure classes, any size of the L leak repair clamp must develop a dangerous leak due to the defective seal has the liquid and natural petroleum gas should verify that if they have used, have any t um, TD Wilson Incorporated leak repair clamp subject to the recall by reviewing the records equipment inspection of the leak repair clamp.
Advisory Bulletin 1303, correction issued on October 13, 2013. The Pipeline Hazardous Material Safety Administration issued an advisory bulletin to remind owners and operators of liquid petroleum gas or utility liquid petroleum gas um, plants that although must must file with the American National Standard Institute National Fire Protection Association standards at 58 and 59, they must also file the certain sections requirements of Part 192 Advisory Bulletin 1302, issued July 2nd, 12, 2013. The PHS issuing the Diversity Bulletin all owners operated with gas hazard of liquid pipelines to communicate potential damage to the pipeline facilities caused by the severe of the flooding. Advisory includes the action of the operator should consider the taking and ensure the integrity of the pipelines in the case of flooding. Our advisory bulletin 1304 is issued August 22nd, 2013. Pipeline Hazard Material Safety Administration Adversary to alert all pipeline operators. TD Wilson Incorporated Leak Repair Company Clamp or Recall issued to the TD Wilson Incorporated on June 17, 2013. The recall covers the um, TDW's leak repair, repair clamp of the pressure classes any sizes. The leak repair clamp developed with a dangerous leak due to the defect, defective seal as the liquid and natural gas pipelines operate should verify if they have any TD Wilson Incorporated leak repair clamp clamp subject to the recall reviewing the records equipment of the isolation of liquid repair clamps. All right, advisory bulletin 1105 issued in August 26, 2011. Pipeline Hazard Safety Administration advisory to remind owners and operators of gas and hazard of liquid petroleum pipelines um, potential for damage to the pipeline facilities caused by the patches of hurricanes. In addition, mentions integration management obligations under 195-452. Advisory Bulletin and 1205 issued March 20, 2012. Pipeline Hazard Material Safety Administration urged the owners and operators to conduct a comprehensive review of their gas and iron distribution pipeline system placement of the programs to accelerate the pipeline, repair, rehabilitation, replacement of the aging high risk pipeline. In addition, with the um, advisory bulletin notes reg um, regulation requirements of the National Gas Distribution Companies to develop the distribution integrity management program for the pipelines owned and operated and maintained. Other re reference sources address addressed in the uh, Distribution Integrity Management Final Rule Preamble of the Federal Register 74-232, Friday, December 4, 2009, Rules and Regulations, Comment Topic 7, and the Interim Regulatory Management Quarters, uh, Master Medium and Liquid Petroleum ga Gas Operators, page 63-912, Distribution Integrity Management, Frequently Asked Questions, C4-B1, most of the operator using the computer-based it must an operator use the computer-based risk analysis module. C4B2 must eat must each of eight threats that to be considered for every pipeline type. C4B3 the distribution integrity management program requires in, including knowing the condition of the facility that are at risk and the potential damage of the external sources cross boards the gas lines and sewers that have been reported at two to three miles of high risk areas potential at predominantly where trenches and insulation methods were used at the gas line installation where sewer gas lines are approximately in of each other and does the potential of the cross bore sewers resulting in the gas insured section with the sewers need to be determined um c four b four r pipeline overbuilds if a threat should the over um should the other concerned threat category contain pipeline overbuilding building and built put over the pipeline. C4B5, we um, we use leak of the leak causes which could experience in the past identified threats. For example, washouts in our system have not caused leaks in the past. Washouts are not identified as a threat. Should washouts be classified as a potential threat due to possibility of coating damage? C4B6, um, since we have not experienced any issues with, with the pre-1973 dual A pipe in the past, we did not super super divide subdivide uh plastic pipe in our risk evaluation is potential threat and so only because of the operator's experience should we have treated it with applicable threat. C4B7 must I consider historical leak data that either sectional pipeline has been replaced. C4B8 we often replace sectional pipeline rather than repairing individual leak and inspection. In this case we must record the number and grade of leaks. Um, C4B nine we experience problems with the ranking potential threats in some of the low frequency events have not occurred in our system to the date and when it occurs the mixing of apples and oranges assigned with the frequency of the probability to threat that has not occurred with the ranking and allowing longing with the events to the due frequency how should we account for low or no frequency threats evaluating risk rank risk 
the gas pipeline technology committee the guide material appendix g1928 section 4 identified threats table 141 sample threat identification method guidance information one master meter and small liquid petroleum gas operators are treated differently when the distribution integrity management program rule and then larger operators for sec for more section 119 or sorry, 192, that 1001 integrity management plan, integrity management plan, uh, means of written explanation of mechanisms and procedures, or the operator will implement it, the integrity management program to ensure the compliance with the subpart, the master meter, the small liquid petroleum gas operators. Integrity management program must include the appropriate set of mechanisms or procedures developed and implemented each program element. These applicable with the word mechanism that these operators important in cinema of the mechanism process. The operator may employ the written explanation of the process employed mechanism developed and implemented or required element of the less specific of the written procedure. The integrity management program for the pipeline should reflect the relatively simplicity of these types of the pipelines the distribution integrity management program could be concise but still most sufficient for the operator personal understanding implementing of the program on a consistent basis to the operator may use a written explanation of the process employed to develop the implemented required element that is less specific for the written uh, procedure after characterizing the system the operator must identify the threats relevant to the distribu distribution and segments of the process must meet the need for the establishing realistic identified of threats and determination of whether the frequency or level of significance he requires a response that goes beyond the normal operating procedures. Before the operators must consider the failures with the out release of potential threats when appropriate, the operator must determine each of the facility grouping which, if in any of the seven primary subcategory threats, could affect the current or future integrity of the facility grouping. Six, even, and even if the operator concludes the particular threat is not applicable to sections of the pipeline on the basis of the drawing, such a conclusion must be complicated documented. The operators must may not Discontent, disconnect, discount, discount, or eliminate any existing potential threats to the subsystem without adequate basis for, for so doing so. The basis must consider pipeline failures, history of design, manufacturing, construction, operation, maintenance. The reason for the excluding of the pipe must be documented within the operator's integrity, man, integrity, integrity man, management pro program. If the data used in the threat identification categorized as insufficient subject to each of the threat O covered by the missing insufficient data then assumed to be applied with the entire group of the being evaluated under the additional information of incorporated but into threat assessment and availability in the information is not justification for exclusion of a threat where the where where the data of the missing and insufficient conservative assumption should not be used in the risk assessment. Records must be maintained to identify the unsubstantiated data are used and that are impact the variable accuracy of the assessment and results will be considered. Eight, eight, it may um, also be appropriate to subdivide threats, for example, to consider automatic corrosion of the proof of ground and pipe, external corrosion of the buried pipeline separately. Another example would be subdividing or knowing the problem materials. Um, nine excavation damage must include in threats damage considered with the distribution integrity management program. And even if the operator has good external damage experience and throughout the damage prevention program, it is not acceptable for the operator to say that this threat is dealt with outside the distribution integrity management program. Therefore, it need not to be included. Um, ten potential threats uh, include the threats where the, the operator has experienced a leak of the release of the gas for they have conditions conducive to threats and corrosion, hurricane, hurricane flooding, excavation damage materials with the known integrity in issues. Examples include trenchless technology used in the area unknown, unknowingly bored through sewer and water lines. B, a future utility road improvement project. C, the discovery of the material not previously known to be in the system. And D, the customer built structure on the over the existing pipelines. E, the overpressurization events. And I, the incident of the pipeline got damaged, including damage of the tracer wire. What did not result in release? G, pipe materials and susceptible to brittle fa fa failure modes. 11 possible sources include the operational maintenance procedure, purchase orders, material listing from the old field orders and standards, information from the industry sources, plastic pipe data committee, or the pipeline hazard safety administration advisory bulletins. Information must include, for example, past continuing surveillance in records of 192.6313. Example, probable violation, adequate procedures. The operator does not have mechanism or procedure to cover the task of being operated. The operator fails to follow the written mechanism, the procedure, the mechanism, the procedure do not include the review of seven primary threats. All of the seven primary false threats required by the law 
or the rule were not adequately considered or evaluated. Multiple threats from the different seven primary threat categories were not adequately evaluated. Six specific threats eliminated from consideration without adequate justification. All operator does not um, use relevant operating maintenance records in evaluating each of the threat. Nine, um, sorry, each eight eliminating the threat is not sufficient or justified or documented. Nine mechanisms and procedures did not adequately describe the requirements for the identifying and evaluating threats. Um, Ten, the operator did not use reasonable and appropriate subdivisions of threats. 11. The mechanism of the procedure did not include the review of the potential threats. Operat 12. The operator did not use unreasonable, use all reasonable and viable records. Depending on the circumstances, some examples listed in the section may be inadequate for plans of procedure but not probable violation. The enforcement tool of the address that these issues would be Notice of amendment, notice of probable violation, or warning letter. Section 3 of the enforcement procedures provided with the guidance for selecting appropriate enforcement action. Examples of evidence are copies of applicable pages for the operator's disintegration management pro program, which demonstrates inadequate mechanism and procedural to reasonable available external information, advisor, e.g. advisory bulletins identifying the threat applicable to the operation system that was not considered the developing of the distribution integrity management program. Three, documented photographic evidence that demonstrated the violation. Four, documented oral written statements for the operational personnel or special notations not so far visible. All right, um, Distribution Integrity Management, Part 1 and 2, 12th of, of um, December 7, 2015, 119, 115, 105, 102, 15, B3, 192, 1015. What, what must a master meter specify? Um, small liquid petroleum gas operator due to implement the sub. Subpart so existing code, the elements written in integrity management program must address the minimum following elements. Three rank risk, the operator must evaluate the risk of its pipeline, and estimate the relative importance of the each identified threat. The origin code origin code one ninety two one thirteen seventy four Federal Register sixty three nine zero six December fourth, two thousand nine. Last am and amended interpretation summaries and ad advisory bullets and alert notice summaries are not so far as visible. Other um, reference material and sources address the distribution integrity management program final rule preamble to the Federal Register, volume 74, note number 232, Friday, December 4, 2009. Rules and regulations, comment topic 22, risk command assessment, page 63920. Distribution integrity management frequently asked question T4C1. What are there key things that the operator should be focusing on developing the effective risk assessment methodology? C4, C2, which from which the data the operator required to collect the data for their plan. C4, C3, how nearly identified threats of the system integrity expected to be handled in an operator's distribution integrity management plan, program plan. C4, C5, the do, do the multiple threats that need to be considered for each of the, the um, facility grouping. Do all the threats need to be in one relative risk ranking? C4, C6, what expected multiple state operator in regard to the risk ranking? C4, C7, we plan to perform the risk ranking that's by the state regardless of the outcome of the risk ranking. We it will not increase the historical level expenditures to each system. Eight, however, the system would provide Wide risk ranking will be used to determine what the expenditure beyond the historical levels were allocated to meet the intent of the state and by the state risk ranking. C4B9, um, we are experienced problems in ranking potential threats and some of the low frequency have not occurred in our systems to the date. We are considered with the mixing apples and oranges and assigning the frequency of the probability to a threat that had not been occurred, ranking along with it in the events that have due frequency for he should e. How should we account for the low or no frequency threats and evaluation ranking risk? Gas Pipeline Technology Committee Guide Material Appendix G1928, Section 5, Evaluating and Ranking Risk. The good guidance information master meter small liquid petroleum gas operated to treat it differently in the distribution integrity management program large and operative storm section 192 1001 integrity management program the integration management program were a means of written explanation mechanism procedure operator will use the implementation integrity management program to ensure the compliance with the subpart the master meter and the small liquid petroleum gas operators and to integrate management program must include the appropriate set of the mechanism procedures developed and implemented to each of the program element the applicability of the word or mechanism for the operator is important as this in a name of the mechanism and process the operator may employ a written in an explanation of the process employed but the mechanism developed and implemented the required elements less specific for the written procedure the integrated management program for the pipeline should be reflected the relatively simplicity of these types of the pipelines the distribution integrity management program could not be 
could be as concise but still insufficient for the operator personal understanding and implementing of the program consistent with the base as um to the operator may use the written explanation of the process employed to develop the implementation required element in less specific than the written procedure once the threat has been identified the operator must develop a method of assess prioritize associated risk in order to address those greater than the concerning first in performing the risk analysis it is important to note the risk of the likelihood of the event of the occurring of the times the consequencing of the event an event that is highly likely to also highly publicly safety consequence constitutes an event of the greatest concern unlikely event having minimal consequences may not justify extraordinary precautions and unlikely event of the could have the highly very high consequences may justify additional precaution and distribution incidents as defined in Title 49 CFR 191 transportation of natural and other gas pipelines. Annual reports, incident reports, safety related condition reports, and contained with the pipeline hazard safety administration incident database often events that are lowly likely but oh, highly consequence. Um, four, the operator must identify both likelihood of the frequency of the consequence and the potential impact of the failures due to each of the subcategory threat in each system, um, determining the relative risk when the re risk reaches a threshold set. The operator measures to reduce the risk may be needed to address the, th it, the threat. Five, the inadequate for the operator to conclude that the pipeline is not subject to any of the particular threats based on solely for the fact that it's not experienced as a pipeline failure that has been attributed to the fact threat and they also must be considered the potential threat example the likelihood factor to be considered the leaks per number of services based on the size of the operator be the amount of construction activity in the air and see the number of hits per unit locate tickets um seven example the consequent factors to be considered a operating procedure b population density downtown versus royal c impact loss of supply d the number of the customers affected e the proximity structure and critical fund Facilities, schooling, and hospitals. Uh, F. The proximity of the known of the group so of people limited in mobility, usually un un institutionalized. 8. The operator may employ the various means of the achieving validation. Elements of the validation may include the team review of the results, subject matter, expertise, reviews. And 9. The operator must have the mechanism, procedure, validation, results of the risk analysis process. The result generated by the module should have agreed with the consensus of the validation group if an analysis results do not identify knowing the risk of the fish. Factors evaluation model method must be requested and analyzed if necessary and revised. Examples of probable violation and inadequate procedures. The operator does not have mechanism procedure for the uh, coverage of the task being performed. The operator fails to perform. Follow the written mechanism procedure. The operator does not perform risk evaluation to assess estimate to the relative importance of the identified threat. A comprehensive risk analysis process was not adequately developed. Five, all portions of the pipeline were not included in the risk analysis. Six, the process did not adequately consider the unique risk factors when using the standard risk manual. Seven, the risk analysis processes was not adequately documented. The risk analysis. Eight, the risk analysis process did not adequately consider all identified risk nine the operator's specific legal failure history other pro operational experience were not adequately considered in the risk analysis 10 the poor quality data was used in the risk analysis and 11 the poor basic risk module scores on the adequate documentation 12 the operator did not validate the results of the risk evaluation 13 the operator history is not consistent with the output of the risk evaluation module information provided with the validation team does not concur with the results the operation has no documentation validation in the ranking results 16 the mechanism procedure does not include the sufficient detail of the clarity of allowing anyone required to use the perform the task. Depending on the circumstances, some of the examples listed in this section may be inadequate plans or procedures but are not probable violations. Thus, an enforcement tool address these items of the notice of amendment, notice with the probable violation or warning letter, section 3, the enforcement pro procedure providing guidance on selecting the appropriate enforcement action. Examples of evidence, a copy of applicable pages for the operator, the distribution and integrity management program demonstrating inadequate procedures documented or written statements for the operational per so now printing out the operator's risk rank and results proper portion of the documentation of the commercial products demonstrating and should have not been used in the department manner of the operator used it, it documented the photographic evidence demonstrating the violation documented oral written statements from the operational personnel. Other special notations are not so visible. Alright, um, 
Continual nine enforcement guidance distribution integrity management plan one ninety two December seventh two thousand fifteen one nineteen two one thousand fifteen B four one ninety two one thousand fifteen. What must a master meter lift small liquid petroleum gas operator due to implement the subpart as existing code language elements integrity management plan must be addressed in the minimum following elements the existing code language identifying and implementing measures to mitigate the risk of the operator must determine and implementate the measures designed to reduce the risk of failure of its pipeline co origination code one ninety two one thirteen seventy four for F Federal Registration six three nine oh six December fourth two thousand nine. Last amendment interim Interpretation summaries and adversary baseline alert notice summaries not available. Others from reference and material sources address address distribution integrity management from a final rule preamble to Federal Registry Volume 74, number 232, Federal, Friday, December 4, 2009. Some rules and regulation. Comment topic 14. Leaking monitoring page 63, um, monitoring page 63917. Um, comment topic 16. Integration management program and evaluation improvement 63918. And in comment topic 23, performance measures 6392. Um, two. Distribution integrity management frequently asked questions. C4D1 must operate and implementate additional accelerated actions to reduce the risk from the pipeline. The frequently asked question C4D2 How will small operators with limited staff be able to implement the requirements of the risk analysis selection of the risk control measures? C4D3 If an operator already had a legal Leak management program does the operator have to implement a new program in the response to the regulation C4D4? Why not simply require the operator of the gas distribution pipelines to replace the old pipe? C4D5 What kind of issues should the operator focus on addressing threat of the excavation damage as part of the distribution integrity management program? C4D6 In order to eliminate the need for the leak management program, how quickly would the operator need to repair all leaks? C4D7, can an installation accessible flow the values method to mitigate the risk? C4D8, what the criteria should the operator use to identify when the measure and the reducing the risk needed? C4D9, do all actions operated to take the reduce the risk not to be included with the distribution integrity management program? C4D10, we have heard the operators will require the implemented specific measures to reduce the risk. Can you describe the required action? C4D11, the frequently asked question was how can an operator demonstrate their leak management program is, effect is effective? Gas Pipeline Technology Committee, the GPTC Guide and Material Appendix G G one ninety two eight Section eight identifying and implementing measures to address the um risk. General information master meaning small liquid petroleum gas operators are treated differently in the distribution management program. The large operators form the um, 192 1001 integrity management program and integration management program written exam explanation of the mechanism procedure for the operator will use the implement integrity of the management program and to ensure the compliance with the, with the subpart the for the master meters and the small liquid petroleum ga um, gas operators and integrity management program must include the appropriate set of the mechanisms or procedures developed to implement each of the program element ability of the word mechanism for these operators are as important but the synonym of the mechanism is process. The operator may employ the written explanation of the process employed mechanisms developed implemented required element and less specific written procedure. The integrated management program for the pipeline should reflect the relatively simplicity of the lot of these type of life pipelines, the distribution integrity management program should be concise but still must sufficient for the operator personnel to understand implementation program of the other consistent basis. All right, two, the operator may use a written explanation of the process employed, developed, implemented, required element, and list specifically with written procedure three, the design operation distribution system sort of urge that no single risk control method is inappropriate and in all cases the risk can be reduced in implementing risk control practices. The degrees of likelihood of eventing of the occurring mitigated with the consequence of the event and considering the gas distribution system is essential to remember that the consequence of the failure distribution system make the like and protracted period of time developing during this period the certain techniques can be used to detect the failure actions can be taken to address the failure before it produces an incident. Five of the process identifying additional measures to measure, but identifying the threats each pipeline segment of the risk analysis. Clearly, facilities group of the facilities represent the highest risk and most important candidates for the measure of the reducing the risk of the significant deficiency difference requirements of the M and M and the small limited the master meters and the small limit with petroleum gas operators, various operators under the section one ninety two one oh five the um one thousand one oh five 192-1005 requirements of the code section does not require the measure to include the effective leak of the management program.
Six, the operator must implement a schedule measure to address the potential prom prominently risk identified with the risk evaluation August 2nd, 2011. The distribution integrity management was to have been developed and implemented by this date. Some of the measures that may be implemented imme immediately, otherwise, the pipe replacement may require the budget approval allocation resource. The operator should have been considered. This is the schedule major in the measures that appropriate within their distribution integrity management program. Other operators are expected to properly identify the need of the measure for measure of the event and the new risk identified. The measure mechanism of the procedure must detail the basis of the decision be documented as part of the operator's integrity management program decision include which measure to reduce the risk of the implemented schedule implementation of the measure to reduce the risk performance metrics and to measure to reduce the risk the oper eight the operator must a be must able to um, produce the records demonstrating the risk of the measure has been implemented or is scheduled to be implemented schedule measures should be justified made based on the complexity of the imp implementation considerization but constraints, procurement, needed for the additional resources, etc. Nine, for the measures, general information for the measures that reduce the um, risk scale schedule for the future implementation operators should have the records demonstrating actions occurring with the implementation measures according to the prescribed schedule, budget schedule, and preliminary, preliminary actions completed. For example, the probable violation of inadequate um, procedures. The operator does not have mechanism procedure for the cover of the task to be informed. The operator fails to follow the written, mechan written me um, mechanism procedure. No mechanism procedure in place of identifying additional measures to prevent the pipeline failure to mitigate the consequences of the pipeline failure. The mechanism procedure does not identify the need of the measures to reduce the risk. The mechanism and procedure does not require the schedule implementation of the measure to reduce the risk. The mechanism the procedure to identify the additional information is not based on identifying threats or the each of the pipeline segment of the risk analysis, um, the mechanism procedure for evaluation additional, additional um, preventive mitigative measures does not, ad not adequately describe the method used to assure the appropriate selection of the risk mitigative measure intended to reduce the risk of specific threat. Not eight, the risk mitigative, mitigative uh, measure does not specifically address and identify the risk factors. The distribution integrity management program does not provide a schedule implementation or mitigative measures. The impact of the preventive mitigative actions on the risk was not adequately evaluated measures to reduce and risk have been and performed and according to the operator's guidance and procedure operators have not identified measures to reduce the risk when required by their risk evaluation operators has not scheduled to obtain the resources to form measures to reduce the risk um Depending on the circumstances, some example of listing in this section may be inadequate. The plans of the proceeding non probable violation that enforcement of the tools address these issues would be not noticeable. Amendment notice in that not, not a notice of the probable violation warning letter, section three of the enforcement procedure provided with the guidance or selecting the appropriate enforcement action. Examples of evidence copy the applicable pages of the operators. The distribution integrity management program will demonstrate an inadequate procedure copy of the risk evaluation demonstrated that the measures to reduce the risk where they needed to be. Need but schedule documented photograph evidence and demonstrated the violation documented or written statement for the operator personnel. Other special special notations are not so far seeable advisable. Um Distribution Integrity Management Part 192 Chapter um, Revision Date from December 7, 2015, so section 192.115 B5. Section Title 119115, what did the master meter and small liquid petroleum gas operator do implement to the this part? Existing code language elements of the written ticket management plan must be addressed at a minimum of the following elements measure performance monitoring results evaluating effectiveness. The operator must monitor and performance measures the number of leaks eliminated repaired on the pipeline and their cause of the origination code of 119.113.74 for the register 63906, December 4, 2009, last amendment, and interpretation summaries and advisory built in alert notice. Notices have been um, not not noticed. Um, other referencing and material resources, the distribution integrity management frequently asked questions. C4E1, what are the pipeline hazards material safety administrations like for the performance measures that has and for periodic reporting? The C4E2, does every measure to um, address the risk requiring for the performance measures? See Gas Pipeline Technology Committee. Um, guide material appendix G one ninety two eight and section seven. Most of the performance monitoring the results of that evaluating effectiveness. Um, guidance information. Master medium small liquid petroleum gas are are treated differently in the distribution integrity management rule. Larger app from larger operators. Um, from form, from one ninety two one thousand one integrity management plan or the IM plan means written explanation of mechanism procedure for the operator. We using implemented integrity management to ensure the compliance with the subpart for the master meter with the small liquid petroleum gas. 
uh, as operators and integrity management program must include the appropriate set of the mechanism procedures developed and implementing each of the program and element the applicable word and mechanism for these operators is important to sit on for the mechanism and process. The operator may employ the written explanation of the process employed the mechanism developed and implemented the required elements and less specific with the written procedure. The integrated management program for these pipelines should reflect the relatively simplicity of these type of the pipelines. The distribution integrity management program should be concise but still with sufficient operator personnel understanding the implementing program on the consistent basis. Two, the operator may use the written explanation of the process employed to develop the implementative required element that is less specific with the written procedure. The mechanism procedure used by the operator must describe how they collect the data for the performance measure number of the leaks eliminated, repaired on the pipelines and their causes. The operator must identify the how frequently they use the monitor. The measure of the operator must have the documentation demonstrated with the monitoring performance measure number of leaks eliminated and repaired on the line pipeline for its cause. Ex example, the prob probable violation and adequate procedures distribution integrity management does not contain the mechanism procedure for how they operate the um, monitors performance measure of number of the leaks eliminated with repaired on the divide line and in their causes operator does not collect in data establishes the pipeline measurement or to the monitoring performance measures number of the leaks eliminated or repaired on the pipeline and causes the operator does not monitor, monitor the performance measure the number of the leaks eliminated or repaired on this pipeline for their causes Depending on the circumstance, some example listed in this section must be inadequate procedures, not probable violation. The enforcement to address the issue would be notice of the amendment and notice of the probable violation and warning letter. Section 3 and the enforcement procedure provided by the guidance on the selecting an appropriate enforcement action. Samples of evidence copies of the applicable page for the operator distribution integrity management demonstrate the inadequate procedures documented in oral written statements for the operator personnel substantially the data was not collected or monitored documented photographic evidence demonstrating the violation other special notice not, not, notations not so far advisable. Um, Distribution Integrity Management Part 192, December 7, 2015, 119, 1015, B6, 190, Section Code, Section Title 119, 1015, What must a master or liquid, small liquid gas, liquid petroleum and gas operator do implementate in the subpart? The existing code as um, B elements written integrity management program plan address the minimum of the following elements. B6, the periodic evaluation and improvement. The operator must determine the appropriate period of conducting the integration management program evaluation based on the complexity of its pipeline changing of the factories affecting the risk of the failure. The operator must reevaluate the entire program for at least every five years. The operator must consider the results performance monitoring these evaluations 192, 113, 74. FR 63906, December 4, 2009, last minute amendment, interpret, interpretation summaries and advisory bullets and alert notice and summaries. Other material, reference and material sources addressed in the distribution integrity management final rule preamble of the Federal Register, volume 74, number 232, Friday, December 4, 2009, rules and regulations, comment topic, the integrated management program evaluation and improvement, page 63917, distribution integrity management, frequently asked questions, C4 of F1, how often does the operator need to evaluate the program, C4 F1, to what constitutes the period of um, evaluation gas pipeline technology committee um, GPTC guide material appendix G198 8 and the section 8 periodic evaluation improvement guidance information master media small liquid petroleum gas is treated differently in the distribution management program larger operators from 192 1001 integrated management plan I am plan means the written explanation the mechanism proceeds the operator will use the implementation integrity management program and to ensure the compliance with the subpart the master media and the small liquid petroleum gas operators integrity management program must include but the appropriate set of the mechanism proceeds developed and implemented each of the program element the applicability of the word mechanism for the operator is important as the synonym of the mechanism in the process, the operator may employ a written explanation of the process employed, but the mechanism developed and implemented required element and less specific with written procedure of the integrated management program for the pipeline should reflect the relatively simplicity of the types of pipeline. The distribution integrity management program could be inconcise, but could be concise but still most sufficient for the operator the personnel to understand and implementate the program on a consistent basis. To the operator may use the written explanation for the process employed, developed, and implemented required to element the less specific with the written procedure. Three, the master meter and small liquid petroleum gas operator are generally not complex with a non sufficient change of the condition of the system distribution integrity management only need to evaluate an improvement for every five years when the change occurs, but the factor affecting the risk failure program evaluation should be conducted more frequently basis um, the evaluation of the problem and effectiveness should be included with the following items to determine the modification of the program need to be risk prioritization, risk control practice, failure analysis, results, performance measures, 
Five, the method of evaluation could range from the formal audit of the program to be a simple review of the above items and subject matter experts based on the needs of this program. Correcting, six, corrective action to improve the integrity management program must be documented and monitored. For effectiveness, the review must examine the effectiveness and measures to reduce the risk of performance measures for recommendation improvement when are necessary. Generic and statements about implementing improvements now are not applicable. Examples of probable violations and adequate procedures of the distribution integrity management does not state the frequency of the program evaluation procedures did not include the evaluation performance measures and their effectiveness determining if they still appropriate and if they need to be adjusted. Evaluation the operator does not have a mechanism procedure that covers the task of being performed to the evaluation um, to evaluation to the operator fails to have written mechanism procedures. Three, the procedure performance goals will not include it, but the procedure of the operator, the distribution management program evaluation process does not specifically address the means or the methods of the operator implemented into the track of the distribution integrated management program performance. The procedure does not have specific frequencies or time frames at which the operator must track the distribution integrity management program. Five, an operator of the distribution integrity management evaluation procedures does not assess whether the distribution integrity management program is effective in reducing the risk, and an operator of the distribution integrity management program evaluation procedures does not provide the operator information implementing improvements in distribution integrity management pro um, effectiveness based on findings of the from their evaluation, and for the operator's um, process based on the sound and the repeatable principle of non sufficient documented so an inspector can make a reasonable determination and accuracy thoroughness of the process. The improvement. An operator did not change the distribution integrity management program as required to address the information obtained thoroughly annual reviews program evaluations whenever the, any of the changes occur materially alter with the elements of the distribution integrity management program. 7.3. An operator did not actually make the change of the distribution integrity management did not do not and did not implement the change of the distribution integrity management when where the program evaluation identified that the changes were required. Three, an operator did not thoroughly document the change in data, including the purpose of content and data completed. The process operator described the procedure not sufficiently documented it, so an inspector can make a reasonable determination as to the accuracy throughout the process. Mechanism procedures do not include in sufficient detail clarity to allow anyone required to use them in the performance of the task. Implementation of the distribution and integrity um, management program evaluation was adequately performed and or results were not adequate in documentation. Adequate ac actions were identified to improve the distribution integrity management based on review of the evaluation. Three, the end actions identified with the distribution integrity ban management program, ev program evaluation were not adequately implemented. For the response of the performance measures indicating the poor performance and in, in, inadequate. Depending on the circumstance, some of the example listed in the section may be inadequate for the plans, procedures, and non probable violations. These enforcement tools address are issued with written notice of amendment and notice of amendment, probable violation warning letter. Section 3 of the enforcement procedure provide with the guidance on selecting the appropriate enforcement action. Existing ample ex of evidence. Copy the applicable distribution integrity management page of the supporting the violation discussed above the separately in combination. Copy the use of the operating procedure showing that it does not meet the specified requirements. Documented photographic evidence demonstrating the violation. Document Documented oral written statement from the other per operator personnel, other special notifications not so advisable. All right, um, distribution integrity management part 192, which December 7th, 2015, 119, one, uh, sorry, 192, um, 1015, C, 192, 1015, what must, section title, what must a master and the small liquid petroleum gas operator do to implement the, the subpart? Existing code, the records of the operator must maintain the period of the latest 10 years for the following records, the written integrated management program in accordance with the section, including the superseded integrated management program, documented support, threat, and identification documentation, showing the location material of all the piping appurtenances that are installed with the effective date of the operator integrated management program to the extent location material of all the pipes and appurtenances were existing the effective data um, date of the operator's program, origin of the code 192. U one thirteen seventy four FR six three nine oh six to fourth two thousand nine last amendment as interpretation summaries advisory bulletin alert notice and summaries address um such a set aside office other reference of material sources address the distribution integrity management program final rule preamble the federal register volume seventy four ninety two th to number two thirty two four to Faraday, December 4, 2009, Rules and Regulation, Comment Topic 11, Requ Required Documentation, Page 30, 39 and 15. 
All right, your distribution integrity management frequently asked question C4G1. What are the operators starting collecting and maintaining the records data need for the performance measure C4G3? Can a PM pipeline hazards material safety administration further define the number of excavation duplicates on the new form C4G4 when the municipal operators joint utility operators should renew? Um, should the number of the excavation tickets include all excavation tickets adjusted and sent for the gas department? C4G5, all multiple tickets with a single job continue on in single excavation tickets. C4G6, what are the excavation data image on uh, excavation not on the ticket? C4G7, we have a lot of seal risers which can be tightened to eliminate leaks. We have not reported the, these on the Form 6100 in Part C, total leaks, and has the leaks eliminated and repaired during the year in this past. The leaks are considered the report leaks per the di Distribution Integrity Management Program. Should the threats be considered in the Distribution Integrity Management Program? C61, what records does the operator need to maintain to demonstrate compliance to subpart B? P. Um, C62, must I retain all the records considering the developing and distribution integrity management program 119 1011? C63, I am required to submit the distribution integrity management program, federal, state, and regulator, general information. Operators are required to maintain records to demonstrate the compliance with the distribution integrity management for the minimum of 10 years, including the superseded copy of the distribution integrity management program. Early revision of the program must include the documented files and archived information. Documentation must include as an effective data of any of the um, all revision numerous records and are generated as a result in distribution integrity management programs to the extent that these records demonstrate the compliance with the rule requirements that they are maintained by the operator such that they are readily retrievable, protected with the damage, secured, and sufficiently to prevent unauthorized use. Um, four, for other records such as worksheet, Memorandum noted that the documentation should be retrievable, the center location extent practical, unopposed, and being retrained, retained exclusively individual without regard record of the storage responsibility. Since many of the records may be retained for the life of the pipeline, it suggests that the records should be kept in some formalized structure of record, record keeping system. As an opposed to the individual working file, the procedure should include the documentative location with the operator's facility. As an alternative to each of the guideline procedures, specifically record keeping, Requirements a single documentation specifies that all record keeping requirements would be considered sufficient programmatic control. Records B, the records retained should be conditionally legible, legible readable, um, readily retrievable, probable, secured, and properly completed. See any procedure guidance for the threat identification risk assessment must be retained as well as the result of the process. ED, the periodic update of the risk assessment documentation would also be expected in the program files, including supporting records such as meeting my, my, meeting minutes and subject matter expert reviews when the conclusion are drawn. E, the regulation does not require the documentation to support any of the decisions, analysis, process, develop, used, and implementing evaluation. Each element integrity management program must be maintained, but they are useful. These, this set of documentation includes but the develop and use and support identification, calculation, amendment, modification, justification, deviation, determination made, any action taken to implement and evaluation of the program elements. Five, the operator needs the provision and the writing of the distribution integrity management for the capturing and retaining of the data uh, for about the new pipeline installation data from the new pipeline that must be included with the characteristics to identify the threat and evaluate the risk of the operator's distribution integrity management program. The data must include at the minimum location where the new pipeline is installed with the material in which the construction of the operator control can documentate on this map of the other drawings in the system. Six, the matter is more than ju um, just steel and plastic. It should include the specific specification grade of steel type of the plastic manufacturing coating, etc., in accordance with the definition of the pipeline statute 1923. This includes the value and other prudency of the gas flows. Examples of probable violation of inadequate and procedure the operator did not have the mechanism procedure specifying the copy superseding integrity management program will be maintained for at least 10 years. The operator does not have the documentation to support the threat into the location. The operator did not keep the required records of the documentation for 10 years. The operator does not have the records of other documentation to support any other above the requirements. The operator has recorded other documentation to support the compliance with the above requirements. The operator does not have the documentation but to demonstrate the material location facility to extent known in the prior to the installed after the effective date of the integration management program procedures do not include the process required of the necessary data in the new pipelines. Depending on the circumstances, some of the examples listed in the section must be inadequate and procedures not probable violations. The same enforcement tool to address the issue would be notice of amendment, notice of probable violation, warning letter, section 3 enforcement guidelines provide for the guidance in selecting the appropriate enforcement action. 
Examples of evidence copy the operator mechanism procedure showing that it does not meet the specified requirements. Copy the applicable page of the operator edition. Operation integrity management program showing the required data collection utilization of the data is not in the distribution integrity management program. Documented photographic evidence demonstrating the violation and documented oral written statement from the operator personnel. Other special notifications not um, foreseen. And that concludes um, our 192 gas distribution pipeline integrity management enforcement guidance for Title 49 CFR Part 192 Subpart B gas distribution pipeline integrity management program uh, enforcement. Thanks for listening. I'll post this on YouTube.